Alright, so now we're going to do Beneath Cursed Tides requires level 30 wood cutting, 30 fire making, 30 cooking, 30 mining, 30 smithing, 30 attack, 30 strength, 30 magic. Just a few inventory spaces, there's no combat. It gives you a 10,000 combat experience lamp, which you could use in summoning as long as summoning is level 10. But it gives you the 5,000 fishing, 5,000 cooking experience, so it just requires uh, the cooking. So if you somehow manage to get cooking without leveling fishing, you could just uh, essentially not level fishing at all and then just do this quest to get more fishing levels. So this one, we just need the Wicked Hood, so we teleport to teleport to the Wizard's Guild. Then we just go to the bottom of the Wizard's Guild. So we right click here, go to the bottom floor. We know the Rune Spear has probably spawned right now. Uh, we should let's do the rune spear tomorrow let's uh not do rune crafting we'll do rune crafting tomorrow we know roughly when it spawns so go talk to you talk to this wizard here so let's just uh quickly go through this quest the summoning we'll get that up tomorrow for when we turn in the challenges or summoning will be high level in case we get a quest so you could say continue so this is all about the old tutorial island. We've gone through it so many times, but it's uh, so amazing every time. Just because it's, uh, it's all about the tutorial island, which does not exist. So we say, we know of Annika, and we home teleport to Edgefell. Return to the Wizard's Tower, make your way to Mudskipper Point, just below Port Serum, unequip your weapons. So we can't have uh, weapons underwater. Yeah, and then it's just basically going through Tutorial Island again. So we go down to the south here, and then we'd talk to Vanika, just uh, down in Edgefell Dungeon. So I guess the achievement with going down to Edgefell Dungeon, you could do it uh, while doing this quest. But it was so easy, you just come down here, come down these stairs, achievement's complete, then uh, we don't have to worry about it later. It allowed us to get the uh, Varrock Mining Armor which just lets us uh, mine the lower level things a little bit better. And we should uh, buy some things on the Grand Exchange to level all fletching. We should do that. We should just get all of our low skills or farming. We could level that up just by doing farming runs. Hopefully the run brings us to 15 almost. And then we could just start planting trees and then start planting willow trees. And then those will give us the levels. So you'd have to talk to Vanica down here. Watch out for the... Zombies and the skeletons, they might attack you. Talk about beneath cursed tides. <clears throat> you know, talk about the tutorial island, how it has disappeared down below, and all the trainers that were training you about all these skills have been lost forever. Now they're under some deep curse. Say, yes, we know where to go. <clears throat> and then you return to the wizard's tower. Teleport to the wizard's tower. So then he is going to meet you there. He's the only one that uh, he escaped from. He escaped from Tutorial Island. He escaped from Tutorial Island. He's the only survivor. So if you go down to the bottom floor. Ah, oh, then we go through the door again. We go talk to the wizard again. Where Vanika should be here waiting. Yep, see? Now he's over here. Talk to the wizard. And he's gonna say... What's the plan then? <clears throat> you could do the other dialogue to talk to them to see how they were acquainted, and then you could say, ask him how you're ready to get to Mudskipper Point. All right, then you home teleport to Port Serum. And then Mudskipper Point is just south of Point Serum. Oh no, we didn't want to click. We didn't want to click. Home teleport to Port Serum. Don't click on the ground. And then basically we've done the tutorial quite a few times already just because the quest is so ridiculously good for summoning. So we just go to the south. We could use the mini map, I guess, for once. So we go down south from the waypoint. We just uh, follow this road here. <clears throat> then you go past the dwarf. Past the dwarf. That was for the night sword quest. Here's the dwarf. <clears throat> Then for an achievement, we actually did have to go down there and uh, defeat a giant at some point. So if you go down here, now the wizard and Vanika is waiting over here for you. 
So he's a hydromancer. She deals with water. Talk to her. Oh, we can't, uh, we can't be wearing anything. We don't have any weapons. Make sure you don't have anything equipped. And then you talk to her. You could say, like, one, two, one, if you want to go through it. Sounds perfect. Let's do this. There's other dialogues. I don't think it uh, matters what you pick. And then you hit the two button. And you hit the one button. And then we just have to search for the message in a bottle. <clears throat> so the first time we did this, we got completely lost. We're like, how do we open the door? Because you uh, can't open the door without a key. You look around. Perhaps you can find a key somewhere. There's a key in the message in a bottle. So you read the book. And you find a key in the bottle. Now you can open the door. So then here you can talk to her. She's going to teach you about... Uh, Wood cutting, fire making, and cooking. Although you can't light fires in here. So there is. Usually you could try doing this by yourself and then you it would be really fun. You could figure everything out. But if we catch these shrimps, we could just do it how the quick guide says. Quick guide tells you to do steps ahead of schedule. So you need to catch two shrimps. You could just go catch two shrimps. And then if you try to chop down the tree the tree will float away and you won't be able to grab it so the tree floats away before you can grab it so you have to cut some seaweed before you can get some logs you grab the long length of seaweed now when you chop the dead tree now you should be able to catch it with the seaweed using the seaweed you manage to snake onto the tree branch so it changes so now you can uh cook on the cooking bed oh wait a minute interact with the boulder all right cook both shrimp on the steam vent you have to push the, the nearby steam vent up roars to life as the pressure increases so you can't uh, cook them unless it's like that cook both shrimp on the steam vent to receive two boiled shrimp boil the raw shrimp so we cook up uh, both of them I guess boil raw shrimp boil the shrimp again to burn it because she's going to get a uh, mad she's like how did you successfully cook the shrimp down here you're supposed to always burn one shrimp because you're supposed to burn one shrimp during the tutorial. So you have to burn one on purpose. So then we talk to her, and then we're all done. Like, she tells you to burn a shrimp. So if you cook it properly, she's like, this is all wrong. What happened? How did you cook it? You're supposed to fail cooking it. So then you have to go burn it on purpose to make her happy. You say, like, oh, good job. You burnt the shrimp. Now, sometimes you will burn the shrimps, and you won't be able to cook them. So go try to cook these shrimps again and see if you could cook it successfully this time. And then you can go cook it. This guy, he just needs some seaweed from over here. But this octopus, jellyfish, is guarding the seaweed. So if you try to gather from this seaweed, he will probably electrocute you, right? Hello. You like your face? Yes, then I suggest you get away or else we'll sting it off. So we could use the music box he gave us. Then we hit the two button. Then we hit the three button. Then we hit the one button. Then he's all happy. Now we can gather the seaweed. All right. And then we can prepare the large table. Should be able to prepare the large table. He's just gonna need us to prepare three dishes. He tells you want something sweet, sour, or spicy. So we use these arrows. We go sweet. We go up two. Up three, spicy. Here we go. That's the first one. Up one, up two, up three. Fantastic. I want you something mellow, sour. So mellow would be a bit more, right? Essentially, you press this up and then it switches between them. Well, mellow, sour, and bitter. So maybe we could use the down arrow. Bitter would be more near the top. There we go. Mellow, sour, bitter. Check. It's exactly what he was looking for. He's looking for something spicy, salty, bitterness. Spicy. Oh, one, two, three, four is bitterness. And then we just need salt. There we go. Salty, <clears throat> spicy, salty, bitterness. Check. And that's exactly what he was looking for. Prepare three tables. Go through the door. So now you learned how to cook underwater. Before you could journey here. <clears throat> so now we go through this door then we climb down the ladder 
Yeah, essentially there's going to be nothing in here, right? You open the door and then you're like, there's nothing here. So then you climb down the ladder. So you climb up there, there's nothing up there. Is there anything in the cupboard to search? So now this would be the mining, mining training. So you talk to him, mining instructor, and then you press the one, absolutely. And then we say three, we don't have any questions. If you do have questions, you could ask him. So you just mine one copper. And because of our armor, we got two coppers. And there actually is rock opportunities underwater, right? So if you go here, you would use the soggy copper or on the furnace. We've done this so much. How many would you like to make? One. And then we right click, close the furnace doors, operate the pump. And then we light the furnace. And then we take the contents here, and then we make a bronze butterfly knife, bronze butter knife. Make a bronze dagger, but it's a bronze butter knife. So you talk to him, he says, uh, congratulations, you have made the bronze butter knife. Go through the gate, go to combat, right? So you talk to Vanika, combat instructor, press the one button, press the two button. Sure, we're up for the challenge. Then we just have to go through here and hit the mice that appear on the screen. So we open the gate and we begin combat training. And after we're done this, we could just climb the ladder. So it's going to be like a like a phone game. Like a phone game. It's like these objects are coming in from the sides of the screen. You must uh, click them. So essentially, any of those marks, any of the mice heads that come in to the side of the screen, the core focuses and he tells you he's training you. And you get those circle things too. And then pretty soon, all of the all of the rats will be dead. You have killed them all without even realizing it. Remove your blindfold. You have killed all of the rats. Look. <clears throat> so then we open the gate. Yes, that's all we needed to do. So now we can climb up the ladder. Oh, so this one, this one we had such trouble the first time. Like, what is the code for the vault for the door? We tried looking around to find it, but uh, there's no way to find it. Talk to the financial advisor. Say, press the one button, because the code you figure would be right there, 169. But there has to be something else that tells you it's 139 or something. Because we looked up the code here. We, we got so frustrated. You go over 2 to enter the 1 button. You go 1, 2, 3 maybe. 1, 2, 3 to hit the 3 button. Then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9. So you just go 9 over to hit the 9 button. 1, 3, 9. The vault opens. Open the door. Oh, we talked to the financial advisor. We have successfully completed this part without any troubles. Open the door. And the memos are cool. You read that, he talks about all the adventurers come in that don't even talk to them because they just want to get to the game. They don't care what the instructors say. They just want to play the game. So they don't even know the instructors exist. Leave through the doors. So you talk to this guy. He's going to want you to find your prayer book. He lost his prayer book. <clears throat> so we've done this a few times and we found out that the fish changes sometimes. Because last time we couldn't actually talk to this fish. So we can talk to Dory the blue fish, Vince the purple fish, and Betty the green fish. So you want to talk to all three of them. After you talk to them, he will uh, tell you where it is. So he hasn't seen anything. So sometimes you'd have to deal with the yellow fish, sometimes you wouldn't. But since he's not on the friends list, you would not talk to him. Then we go through this door, and there'd be more fish over here. Uh, so we got the purple fish and the blue fish, these two. So it was the red fish last time. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes you could talk to the red fish. Hello, Vince. Do you know where the prayer book is? He doesn't know where it is. So you talk to the third and final fish, and he will know where it is. I saw something to the cannon to the west of the ladder to the caves. So we're looking for the 
cannon. Here's these cannons. Here's these sunken cannon. You find the prayer book. So now we go through here. So it's never, it's never been the cannon before. <clears throat> we'll show you the other two places that it has been for us. So uh, they always make it uh, different for every player, so it's different every playthrough. Sometimes it might be on the anchor here. Examine the anchor. That's where it was one time. The other time it was on the coral reef there. And then I guess it can be on the cannon as well. So you talk to him, you go turn in the book. Ah, give him the book, go through the south door. Now we're just the mage training. So at this point, uh, one of the times we take a wrong turn, we were like uh, going over here and there's absolutely nothing over there. You just follow this road, go through this door. Talk to the wizard. Talk to the wizard. So it's good we're getting this quest done. Say we certainly are. And then you just uh, cast a spell on a chicken. All right. Uh, so then you just uh, left click the chicken. Now you go stand here, try to left click a chicken. Left click a chicken. And you just shoot a bubble at him. <clears throat> Perfect. So now, excellent work. Stop. Here comes the end of the quest. So here's where you actually have to do something. So this part's pretty cool. It always seems like the Dragon Ball Z reenactment. We are an adventurer. It doesn't matter what you pick. Essentially, they're going to be shooting beams of energy at each other, and they're going to be fighting just like the epic uh, Teen Cell versus Cell versus Cell. So here's Cell, here's Gohan. He's shooting. You have to help him channel the beam. Here's your friend. And he just throws down little perfect cells. <laughs> and Cell will be defeated. And then these are, these are the little minions that come. You have to click on the minions and then they float away. So while you guys are here channeling, trying to defeat the evil Cell, these crustaceans might come. And then you click on channel him again. So clicking on any of these three channel places does the same thing. Essentially, as soon as you see those guys spawn somewhere, you'd have to click them. There's one, click. And then sometimes they come even faster. Later, when you're almost channeled towards them, they start coming really, really quick. Though it's not too difficult if you know what you're doing, actually. Repel, channel him. Uh, repel, channel. Uh, repel, channel. So we're gonna start coming in really quick now, because it's near the end. As long as you keep our uh, repelling and channeling, it should be all right. So I think we did that in record time. I think we didn't let a single crustacean get to him. Exactly, perfect. Is there a reward for getting 100% uh, perfect on that game? And then you have to click on him to finish him, right? Uh, click on him to finish him. There we go. So it doesn't do it automatically, you have to finish him by yourself. And then you could hit the one button probably. So then now you can't bother anybody. And then we get the fishing lamp, the cooking lamp, and then we unlock something. So this quest, it's 100% uh, free to play. The only thing about it being 100% free to play is you uh, can't use the experience lamp on summoning. You can't use it on summoning. <coughs> so that's why it's better to do this on members. Although it is free to play, so it does give you the free fishing and the free cooking. So you never have to, never have to fish on free to play. You just have to get all the other skills to level 30. And then fishing goes straight up to, uh, whatever, 5,000 fishing experience does. Probably quite a bit. Level 21. So, 10,000 combat experience. We're going to save that beneath Cursed Tides is done. So, the cooking lamp, we could use that. Cooking goes level 32, level 33. And then fishing lamp. Fishing goes level 30 to 33, probably. And then the combat lamp. You could use it if we click on summoning. It says... You must choose a skill in which you already have level 10. So this does work on summoning. It does work on these other things, but these things aren't really gonna worry, right? We don't care about 10,000 herb or 10,000 prayer, 10,000 slayer, ranged. All we care about is 10,000 summoning. So that is why the next step is just doing summoning.
So it gave us a little bit of fishing and cooking levels so we don't have to deal with that. We could burn less food. And we need to powertrain fishing at some point probably. <coughs> Just so we could have it as high as it can be so we could get the higher quest rewards. Ah, but let's do summoning. Let's try to get summoning to level 28 or 29 or 30 in the next episode.